na so e bi o na so e bi this man is making sense faduru joseph since subsidy was removed what nigerians have been hearing is buying of private jets <laughs> nigerians have asked them you said you remove subsidy so the payments of first subsidy what have you done with them come and explain they will say you, you don't know what you're saying according to the reform report from the vanguard the former presidential aspirants under the labor party and the leader of rescue movements for new nigeria aka rescue the vulnerable initiative comrade faduri uluwadari joseph criticized president Tinubu's administration for urging citizens to make sacrifices while engaging in extravagant and wasteful spending he pointed out that since the removal of subsidies nigerians have witnessed substantial financial mismanagement including allocating large sums of lawmakers luxury cars purchasing private jets and funding extravagant travel for large art entourages he said this is the government that asks people to sacrifice but lavishing the nation or the national resources in wasteful avoidable extravagant lifestyle and since subsidy was removed what nigerians have been hearing is huge mismanagement of funds allocating huge sum of some to the lawmakers for exotic cars buying of private jets traveling with huge number of people outrageous amounts allocated for renovations and other wasteful spending despite the hard times nigeria are passing through but they will not exercise patience <laughs> mm. don't mind him he spends money as if nigeria has no financial management <clears throat> that was what he did in Lagos state the man caused serious pains on the people's people residing in Lagos federal schools becomes um art for Nigerians he was the one that overthrew good luck Jonathan and his wonderful administration now he is crying about a protest now <laughs> waiting in the dish out to people he doesn't want to have a taste of it that's money for the private jets and the cars if they use part of the money to put back the lives of the masses will they be will be talking would we'll be talking about protests it is not hunger cheap things are now far beyond the reach of the poor masses some have to skip money food and eat gary with a water in the afternoon then in the night he can manage anything that is manage anything that is why nights the night he can manage anything that is why you see people in every occasion just to eat this government just to eat this government is useless and unreasonable people that is uh, coming from uh, austin peters my question is who is leader of tomorrow who is the leader of tomorrow who are the leader leader of, of tomorrow Tinubu is nigeria zombie apocalypse to the nation if they tried nonsense we will eat them without cooking them they are not even aware of the hunger we are going through hmm. Wow, this is this APC is full of criminals. Don't mind them. By the time we stay, we start dealing with them, they will understand better. Uko Chuku, not the same people. As if uh, we are their slaves or subhumans. It is too funny. Everywhere is looking scanty as if we don't even have a governor and a president. Justice Akbabio had said it that life of the president is different from that of. Is far better than that of a uh, we citizens don't worry it is a time factor let us go them let let's go let them know it's either the government is clueless or mindless you are right sir truth cannot be extinguished tell them Fadu joseph private jet series and the lucky lagos lakey road to calabar Tinubu pays himself and his family subsidy through his Orlando and now acquired Ajib, he takes our crude refines to his billion dollar built refinery in Malta, refines ship, ships back to Nigeria and sell at a high cost and seek or less subsidy. Isn't that wickedness of the higher order so he can afford to buy a private jet yacht at the detriment of the poor masses? Agreed. The economic climate is very harsh at the moment. But let me ask you, 
if the DSS picks you up this uh, moment, can you provide proof or evidence for your allegations? Even a madman cannot even pretend that there is no hunger, frustration and confusion in Nigeria. We know previous governments came with their ups and downs, but Tinubu own is worse. Exactly. You are right. From fraying from fire battle fire. My take on this old saga is that nobody can stop this process as far as I'm concerned. The Diosic animal called Tinubu will be <clears throat> go here and I am sure if Tinubu by the time he mounted the leadership has said that the presidential yacht even though it has been paid for, but considering the economic hardship, economic situation Nigeria is in, we don't even need it. Nigerians would have taken him serious. How can you borrow to renovate a house for 21 billion naira? Borrow to sponsor Hajj, 90 billion naira, and extravagant lifestyle. That is what he's been known for. Are you shocked? Are you surprised? So your guess is as good as mine. Let us know your opinion in the comment section.